Hi guys, Todd here. Vlog time, which I'm recording for a third time. Um, bad week. Um, my just head's fried. Um, I'm I'm not really with it. Um, I think I'm just getting too excited about starting a new job, and I keep fucking stuff up in here. Um, so we'll take this from the top one last time. How did this go? Now. You see me? Hello. We have a dog. We now have a half-finished cup of coffee, blatant plug for Cloud9 vaping. Cloud9 vaping. I had to mention them for some reason. They sent me on a uh, Trojan, which I've been vaping away with and thoroughly enjoying. They will not be stocking it, but uh, they sent it on to me anyway. Um, if you want to know more about that mod, I will be doing a review soon. And it's made by Neutral Works. And uh, you'll see it on their Facebook page, Neutral Works. I think it's the same guys that made the Dominator, if I remember right. Which, you know, the RDA with uh, three posts that you push down the top and just... Ah. Um, so that's that. Uh, dogs, cats, raining here. Yoda, am I? Um, oh, it's died off. Um, cats and dogs. Nice intro into cats and dogs. Thank you to everybody that's sending these photos on. I love them. I love them to bits and I love sharing them. And I know a lot of people will be going, what's that got to do with vaping? I don't care. It's my vlog and I can... Show what I want off. You don't have to watch it. Speaking of not watching, um, a few complaints I must address. Those complaints are that I have been showing too much in the way of high-end gear. I apologise. I will refund your licence fee to you forthwith. I show is I show the the mods I get for review. Okay, um, yes, some of them are high end. I'm not denying the flip, the steampunk. Uh, they were two exceptionally high end bits of gear. If you go through my videos, the past twenty thirty videos, and have a look, it's not all high end gear by any stretch of the imagination. And personally, I will not listen to anybody trying to dictate to me at what level I should be reviewing gear. High end to some people is £50. High end to other people is £100. And on it goes. You can't dictate what I should and shouldn't be showing off. That's just... Well, you're being a dick, basically. Um, so if you don't like the reviews, don't watch them. It's as simple as that. Uh, and just for that, this costs £380. Ha ha! Uh, expensive or what? Really expensive. Um, I stand by everything I said in the review. The negatives and the positives and my take in it, you know, being a boutique art. Is it this? Is it that? I have my viewpoint on it, you'll have your viewpoint on it, and uh, there's nothing wrong with us disagreeing on it. That's, you know, there's, there's on my forum, there's masses of posts about people basically disagree entirely with what this thing is and what it represents. And, you know, I don't have an issue with them saying what they're saying. Um, I quite actually enjoy it because I, I like to... I, I like to see what people's viewpoints and things are. Uh, what I don't agree with is people just being nasty for the sake of being fucking nasty. You know, arseholes in other words. Uh, if you want to share your viewpoint, constructive criticism is welcomed. Uh, being a dick, bugger off. If, and so many people have said this, I could build one of these. I can go to the hardware aisle and the plumbing aisle in my hardware store and build one for 20 bucks. When you do it, mind and send it to me for review. I would love to see what you make for 20 bucks. I really would, honestly. Uh, just get back to me and, uh, and uh, 
you know, if you build something for 20 bucks, like exactly like this, uh, post me a picture or, or send it on or, and call this a little bit of inspiration for you, you know, to, to get out there and go and build your own mod. I look forward to seeing it. I seriously do. Um, right. Enough of me being a twat and a smart arse there. Uh, I apologise. Oh, apologies. Plugs. Uh, plugs. I have to plug stuff. No, it's not a plug. Remember the the cage, the cage, which uh, was by House of Mods, or was sent on to me by House of Mods. It's made by Leo. Um, the cage, a uh, catamizer tank. I currently have a Sophia in there just now because Jeff from House of Mods sent me on the short section. Uh, they've got them in stock now, I do believe. The short section, that means you can use your Sophia in 35mm mode. It's great. He also sent me on some caramel and cream Papillion Organic Aegis, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. You're right, Jeff. It is my kind of vape. Um, it really is. Papillion. I read a book by it. What book was Book. Trapped on an island. Prison on an island. Uh, who starred in that? Ah, uh, oh, shit. Um, who starred? Uh, little Big Man. Uh, Papillion. Who starred in the movie? Um, it was Henry Sherry. Um, uh, the film. Who's in the film? Uh, Stephen Queen and Dustin Hoffman. Is it spelled the same? Is it? Papillion. Uh, it's spelled the same. See, there you go. A little education for me. Uh, read the book. The book is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the film is very, very good as well. And it means butterfly in English. There you go. Um, right, what else? I'm so off on a tangent here, it's unbelievable. Another plug. Oh, oh, oh. House of Mods are also selling. Um, you know the rebuildable uh, ceramics that you get for the Sophia and the Killer? Uh, things like that. They're now doing them in very low resistance. 1.3, 1.4 was what they came out at for me. And that's what I've got in here just now. Jeff, once again, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I, that's that. Another plug is for Tim. You may have heard me going on about Trip Hammer e-liquids in the past. I get sent a lot, well, I used to get sent a lot of e-liquids, even though I do not do e-liquid reviews. It was basically, and a lot of reviewers do this, I'm being brutally honest and open with you. Uh, you know, people will send e-liquids on, I'm not wanting a review, but if you could just mention it. Well, my terms are that I no longer accept e-liquid in any shape or form because I just end up with a stockpile of it and send it out to folk. Tim used to send me stuff on and uh, I said no more because I've done a, a blanket, no more e-liquid from anybody. Uh, aside from this one that Jeff sent on and uh, aside from this one that Tim sent on. <laughs> Why am I mentioning this? Right, I, I mention this because Tim sent me on some he said he was going to do a custard one down the line, and he's now doing a pink custard. It's not my kind of vape. Uh, I thought it's a custard. It's it's like a sweetie shop custard, which Tim's Trip Hammer is absolutely excellent at doing sweeties. Um, so it's not my kind of thing. Uh, but thank you for sending it on, Tim. What he did send on was fruit pastels. He makes one called fruit pastels. If you like fruit pastels, this this is my usual review that I used to do. This is Trip Hammer's fruit pastels. It is, and read the label, say it back to you, and that was my review. 
I was terrible at reviews. I sucked at them. I really did. Um, so the only thing I can say about the fruit pastels one is that it tastes like fruit pastels. The only thing you don't get to do is chew, which is a bit of a shame. But it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, aye. Tim is having, or there is going to be, a vape meet uh, on the 20, 29th of March. There will be a vape meet at the Pottery Hotel in Poole in Dorset. So the Pottery Hotel is at 260 Ringwood Road, Poole, Dorset. On the 29th of March, it'll start at 7.30pm. Uh, there'll be a cloud chasing competition and there'll be prizes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so there you go. I remember to do that. Of course, I've got my phone here. Is there anything else I'm supposed to remember to do? No, that's it. Um, reviews coming up. Reviews coming up. Uh, I've recorded this. This is my third time, so I can't remember what I've told you and what I haven't told you. At Momokani, I've got uh, a little show and tell to do with this. This is my mixed brass uh, 69 mod with the 3D dripper on top. And uh, the guy sent me on a, a new airflow ring for it, which now means that I have dual 3mm air holes and it's in brass. So it goes with my mixed brass finish. I love my... I, I just love my 69. That's 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 over a year I've had this now, and it's it's just bloody great. Um, and with the dual air hole, three mil air holes. If you're a cloud chaser, um, it's just bloody lovely. Um, and also. They sent me on the Anima, uh, which is a hybrid or a 510 connector uh, rebuildable drip anatomizer. Looks stunning on the Nemi Nemesis, and I'll be doing a review for that. Uh, I know Martin Fink, uh, Navy Lifeguard, has put up a couple of reviews. I know they're in German, but they're, as always, they're excellent, and you get a really good close look. So. Excellent. In fact, bloody brilliant. Uh, so that's that's some of the gear that's coming up. I have just checked my upcoming reviews. I want to do a big shout out to Michael and Robert from the Vape Shop in Australia. Uh, Vapeshop.com.au. They are sending me on the Rocket uh, Rebuildable Atomizer by RSM. The guy that does RSM did offer me uh, the Atty when it first came out, uh, but I couldn't afford it because I'd just been made redundant. Uh, the guys are sending it on to me uh, from Australia because they want to see me doing a review of it. I can't thank them enough for that, uh, so that will be coming along soon. The Akuma by G GP, GP Custom, a review for that will be coming. The BMG 22 RBA uh, by Flow Engineering, that's coming along. Uh, I told you about all this, you know about all that. The Mr. Jake by Classic Fog is on its way with, with the, the Element by Jai G Vape Design. They're both coming from Canada. Come on the Canadians. Uh, sorry, my wife paid me to say that. Um, the the Nef, Nef, -E, Nef -E switch and top cap for the Chi Yu. I wish that would hurry up and get here. I really do. Because um, it, it just looks amazing. Um, the Vapor Giant has been sent out to all the, the main reviewers and me. 
because <laughs> I, I don't consider myself to be a game reviewer. Anyway, um, so that's coming out, and uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of reviews for that coming up, uh, and I'll get round to it at some point. I've got another 2650 mod coming on. It's by Zombie Mods. Is it Zombie Mods? I can't find the email or the discussion on Facebook. I'm just losing track of stuff. It's so frightening. And it's really embarrassing because he's a nice lad and uh, I just can't find it. I spent ages looking for it and this is why I stopped doing a couple of the videos earlier on. Um, Pastel Sting Stingray was smart, wasn't it? It's really beautiful in the copper. Um, oh, if you have issues with mods and them getting to you or with the mod maker, I, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not... I have, have helped a few folk out in the past. Um, and I, I haven't minded doing it. Uh, you know, folk ask me, can you check and see what's happening and things like that. Um, I, I haven't minded doing it in the past, but now it's people are getting in contact quite a lot and saying, can you chase this up? Can you investigate this? I, I, I'm, you know, I'm just a lackey in a shed. I, I'm, if I was aware of a scam going on or or stuff like that, then yeah, I'll help out where I can. But if you're having a person, you know, if you and a vendor are having a problem, I can't get involved. I really can't. Um, you know, your, your contract's with them as such. If I got an email from 10 people saying that we're all having problems dealing with this vendor and you use them to do reviews, then uh, maybe that'll probably sway things. But uh, anyway, that's just by the by. Um, anything else? No, I think I've had a rant. Actually, uh, embarrassing. I don't know if Stevie, Stevie that stays up Kirkcaldy, um, if you see this, mate, I have to apologise to you. I have had this little bottle of um, goose juice sitting here for almost two weeks. And I'm supposed to drop it off at Kingdom Vapors for you. And I keep forgetting to go up and drop it off. I'm really, really sorry. I will do it. I promise. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Do you know what? I think that's it. Dead excited about starting the job on Monday. So excited. Um, I really can't wait. It does mean that uh, a lot of the reviews are going to, as I said this already, a lot of the reviews are going to maybe back up and, uh, you know, there'll be two or three go out a week. And that'll be it. Uh, I need to earn a living and I need to have my full concentration on my job. That's just in case my new employer is watching this video. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um... I, I'll just do what the other guys now. I've been lucky. I, I, I don't know. No, I haven't been lucky. I wouldn't say I was lucky. Uh, that over the past few months, I've been about the house and I've been able to chuck out reviews at a hell of a rate of knots. That's not going to happen. That's just not going to happen. It's not possible. I have to spend time, you know, calm and family life and concentrating on other stuff as well so responses to emails Facebook conversations um, answering queries they will have to take a back seat I will respond to them when I can um, I'm sorry and actually I apologize for that but you know something's got to give um, something's got to give what else have I have forgotten stuff I have forgotten stuff been on so much going on uh, what I need to do is have a vape and a drink of coffee. Uh, yum, yum, yum. What else? I think that's about it, guys. I, I really do. Um, I really, really do think that's it. I'll just check my Facebook. Uh, Make sure there's nobody that I've forgotten to 
Tam, tam, tam. Oh, there's a, a, there's a mod coming up in the UK. I'm not going to say anything about it, but let's just say there's somebody that's building a a mid-level, mid-entry mod, which looks pretty smart. Um, and it's not going to, let's say it's going to be mid-level, that, you know, it's going to be a limited run to start off with. And I think it's going to appeal to a hell of a lot of people. Uh, and I think it's great that there's somebody in the UK that's addressing this. Um, making more affordable mods. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, that's about all I can say right now um, on that one. And uh, stop sending me emails to sell stuff. I'm not selling stuff. Um, Jeff, uh, <laughs> Jeff Hetervik, uh, who always seems to message me at the uh, half one in the morning for a conversation, and I'm just going to my bed. Sorry about that, Jeff. Yeah, uh, uh, just time differences. Um, who else uh, should I mention? Uh, it was Michael that I was speaking to from. Uh, Company, company, company down in Australia. Well, they are down in Australia. Uh, shout out to Matt from Suck My Mod. Um, I've been talking to. Nice lad. Um, ba, 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 ja, ja, I just can't find anything else. That's it. Um, No, that's it. Uh, actually, well, it's a congratulations to Mojo. Uh, is it uh, Mojo? House of uh, Mojo, uh, Chi Yu Mojo, uh, who is a daddy again. I uh, just saw that on Facebook. Um, Ah, that's it. Right, enough. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to take a bait. How's this fire? Three hundred and eighty pounds. This mod costs, and I'm using a Pro Tank three on top of it. <laughs> Vape's great. That's the one with uh, nature vape. Uh, is it Nature Vape? I keep forgetting their name. Uh, Mark, it's one of his cotton heads that's in it. Um, so that's it from me. And that's it from TJ. Uh, are you not saying bye bye? Toast and tea. <laughs> that always works. Uh, right, I'll, I'll get this out there. And uh, you guys have a great weekend and a great week. My apologies for the rants and being a sarcastic dick. Uh, but uh, that's just the kind of mood I'm in just now. Uh, so, we'll catch you later. Bye.